set it in the cabana. Let's go ahead and get started here. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh, Lord, it is Monday, so we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what the, what the day holds for us. I've made a kind of a new thing I want to try out. I always have these great ideas, and then, <laughs> well, I, I think they're great until I try them. Um, But I think I'm going to start going melting point versus overlords because I've been really struggling against them. Um, you know, I've tried fortresses against them. I've tried building overlords against them. I've tried Phoenix with range. I think melting point is going to be the answer for me. Um, we'll go heavy armor. Let's see if they're kind of fun. Okay. So what I've been doing, oh shit. Well, what I thought about doing, <clears throat> have not yet, um, is basically making a little line of uh, units here. It's hard to explain, let me show you. So like this, actually, yeah, like that. <clears throat> um, and then I wanna put a marksman right here and a marksman right here. And basically how, basically have it be to where I have like chaff here, chaff clear here, and then attack against heavy, heavy armor here. And basically just have it kind of uh, take care of itself for the most part. Oh wait, I just think in the common. I don't know how else to explain it. I was thinking about it and it seems like a really cheap, effective way to get a bunch of um, different kinds of damage all in the same area. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. What does he got? He's that elite specialist. <laughs> Wish I could speed up this. There we go. Yeah, um, <clears throat> what's gonna be something that I'm working on, I guess. So let's skip here. Let's take out the marksman now. We'll get one more arc. I'm gonna upgrade this arc. And then I'm gonna get... Start with my first marksman, I guess. See, you got a maximum assault mode. Two of them. I'm still deciding what I want to do, like in the middle and everything, but we'll see. Right off the bat, I'm thinking shields for the things would be good. <clears throat> Those assault marks are not going to be a pain, too. So the whole idea of this is to be, um... Kind of like a Swiss army knife, hopefully. Where I can adapt on the fly. Um... <clears throat> some tanks would be good here as well. I think we'll actually go tanks now. Let's take a skip. I'm going to go for some shields here, too. I done. Let's take two tank units out first. Pretend that this is a marksman here. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. We'll go like that. <coughs> one, two, three. We'll go like that. 
And then I'm gonna get some shielding. Some shielding. And we'll upgrade. Hey, Misty Coke, how's it going? I hope you're having a good morning. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We just started. And, uh, yeah, we're having a good time so far. I'm up against a guy with elite, so. <clears throat> that's always interesting. Let's go assault marksman as well. And I think we take the lead here now. I'm trying out a new strategy. Speed up here. Sounds to go crazy much. It's pretty good so far, yeah. It's going great. Elite. The strat. Okay, so it it kind of looks like <laughs> kind of looks like a penis. Um. Okay. So basically, I'm having so all three except for the crawler. All three of the 100 units, I'm having the fangs be vertical here. The assault, look over them for chaff clear, and then the marksman try to take out the heavy units. And it basically, it allows the assault, uh, it allows the fangs to like die um, and do damage. And then it allows the arcs to look over them and the marksman to look over them for their like respective damage types. And then I'm putting the other units away from them so that hopefully. Uh, we have a good like smattering of damage. <laughs> that's what that's what my plan is so far, and it's cheap too. Um, and then once we get to like round five, it's uh, it's different. Or not different, but basically as the game progresses, um, I basically I mean just like normal Machabellum at that point. But yeah, this is my this is my new early game strat. Hopefully. I hope it works. It's going good so far. He put tanks down though, so that might suck a little bit. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it so far. What if the opponent does a rocket? Um, that is a great question. That's a great question. Um,. <laughs> I... I assume that... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess you could get shields in the fangs. That would help. That... I don't know. Uh... We'll see. Let's take a skip here. Upgrade, upgrade. Um, oh, and then I have another one, too. Hold on. Another one that I thought about. This one's actually... <laughs> a lot... Mm, stupid. This one I didn't think out as well. Um, hold on. So, in between these, right? In between these two. We're gonna have another one. And it's gonna be... Uh, hold on. It's gonna be... Balls. Crawlers. And... Uh, Mustangs. And they're gonna go up at the same speed, because they're all the same speed. Actually, I'll put those on... ...on this side. Like... Yeah, basically, hold on. Should I go... ...there? It's gonna be hard for me to do this without... Fucking it up. There. Seems that's the same. Lengths. Alright, and then I think we'll take some shielding. Actually. We'll take some shielding. And then... Um, he doesn't have anything for me to EMP. So... We're good there. Back. The balls are going to come in. These guys are just going to be like cavalry. They're going to come in when the match is already done. I'm going to put crawlers in there too, obviously. So they get shot before the balls of play.
Right. Speed up. Take a skip cam. Looks like your VSLs are going crazy. They are. They are. Hold on. Alright, so now that that's done, we can we can uh, tech out a unit, I think. Let's go. Um. Okay, to kill the assault specifically, hold on. Actually, you know what? Let's get a scorpion in here. Oh, wait, we can't because I don't have it unlocked. Fuck me. Um, I guess we'll get another tank unit for now. And we'll take mech rage. Hopefully we can get some damage onto those, uh... That's up, Marksman. Take healing on the boss, too. Trap wasps now. Okay, we're gonna go. We're going Mustangs next round, anyways. So that's good. Chat level three wasps though. The mech rage is going good on the tanks. I think he probably still kills me with the marksman here. Honestly, I'm not too worried about the assault marksman. Um, <clears throat> once we get scorpions, hold on, let's go, let's take a step here. We'll get some scorpions down to deal with uh, the masses here. I'm going to siege run. And range. And then I'm gonna get... It's round 7, we'll start taking the money now. Let's get a Mustang. Oh wait, shit, we can't get a Mustang unit yet. Oh well. Let's go for... Fuck. Uh, I think I'll just take another... Phoenix, then. For now. A we'll lot upgrade these two guys. And the arc fight. Right, he got two scorpions too, fuck. Alright, I really need Mustangs next turn. Would Aqua anti air work for Mustangs? For Wasps? Are Mustangs better? I mean, I guess it would. <clears throat> it would, I think. But then they're not shooting the guys on the ground. Uh oh. Alright, well, I died anyways. Did <laughs> We tried. Alright, we'll try it again. Different level or whatever. That was a good match, yeah. I enjoyed it. I gotta work on it, obviously. I haven't... This is the first time I've ever tried it. But yeah, I was thinking... Oh, wow, this is a really... This is a really cool profile picture. Hot type of flicks. Okay. Um, we'll go supply here.
All right, let's do uh, sort of the same thing. Hold on. Um, we'll start off. We're going to try it again. If it doesn't work again, then we'll um, switch to what we're doing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some marksmen, I guess, to take out the phoenixes if they can. We were like that. All right, that's like kind of fun. What is he? Cross control? Okay. Jet three phoenixes, four crawlers. I might want to go, uh, if he doesn't go super heavy on the anti-air, I might want to go fortress to shield everybody so they are protected against the shield, or the missiles. Speed up. <laughs> okay. Let's take... Take a skip. Run, get the arcs now. Level up. I feel like it's very good for the first couple rounds at least. And even if he does use a missile, then he's... I mean, not wasting it, but... You know, it's not super duper... Uh, de uh, debilitating. In the early game. Um. Let's see, go ahead and get an arc now. Here. Since he's got so many crawlers. So, like, three crawlers against six units of fangs. I think we got this. There's three arc lights against six units of crawlers. I don't, I don't know why I said the way that I said that. There we go. We did it. He's going, he's going more phoenixes. Which is, I mean, that's fine, but... I'm not sure what he's going for there. Let's take a uh, underground threat. Upgrade. You can like have fun in chat. Yeah, I always do that. Um. It's nice when other people do it too. Underground threat will go in our back line, because I think he's probably going to try to do that to my back line as well. <clears throat> Did he take it? Well, okay, so if he takes it, it won't show up until the end of the round, I think. So I won't know until then. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock the fortress. We won't buy it yet. That way we can do barrier and we'll protect our tanks and such. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that he's going so heavy on the phoenixes. So we'll take anti-air. And I'll get one more marksman. You've got scorpions now, okay. That's gonna hurt. At least my marksman should engage the phoenixes relatively quickly. Oh wow, we're hitting the scorpions immediately. With the marksman, that's good. Nice.
There we go. It's working better this time. I mean, he is building a completely different army than the last guy, so. I guess it's not representative of the final. Same here, we'll upgrade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take... Oh yeah, we were gonna get fortresses. Moon meta? I don't think so, but that's very, that's very nice of you. <coughs> okay. Let's go, we'll get the money this round. We'll get the barrier. And then now look, now, now we've got shielding on the tanks, the fangs, the marksman. Only thing not is the arc light, which is honestly, that's fine with me. I could do it on this side. Actually, that would protect everything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do this. Oh shit, he's got scorpion toe and he's got fucking replicate on the crawlers as well. These guys are gonna die. I was also thinking that after um, barrier, if we needed to, we could do the fang production as well. Here early morning mech matches before work. Hope your morning games are going well. Actually, yeah. I was telling um, what's up, Mumbo? I was telling Misty we're trying a new strategy that I thought about. I I'm assuming that it's probably not the first time anybody's tried this, but I thought about it last night and I thought it was a pretty unique idea. Um, we're doing thing vertical things with arcs and marks. Uh, so that we have like a equal, well, not equal, but like a all different kinds of damage. And then I'm protecting them with the fortress bubble and tanks on the side for extra damage. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, Siler, what's up? Um... I mean, it's working against four scorpions, too, which is pretty cool. Someone went Rhino plus Wath with some Chaff Clear units and it crushed my soul. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I don't know what he's gonna... He's gotta go Giant unit soon. Some experiment with that combo? Okay, cool. Yeah, he's gotta go. He's gotta go for a giant unit soon, I would think. Let's take Mech Rage on the tanks, and then we'll get um, we'll get another marksman unit since he's going so heavy on those uh scorpions. He's got range on him too now. Oh, he took mech rage on the crawlers as well. And another fucking guy. Okay, he's got some crawlers down here. They don't kill my arc light, which is nice. Oh, these crawlers are gonna suck. Alright, he does finally break through. Right there. He's got so many scorpions. Okay. So he's got one, two, three, four, five scorpions. Let's do... Let's go for a skip. We'll upgrade. Upgrade. Um... I'm trying to think here. I could get thing production, I think. That would help. Hold on, let's do this. Let's get another fortress. Let's get fang production. And then we're gonna take... Armor piercing on the fangs. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to put another... 
dude, like all the way up there. Match him in the back. Dog and surgery torn my Achilles tendon. Bad day all around. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Sather. But um, well, I hope that your I hope that your dog is okay after the surgery. Miss C says good luck. She hopes or uh, they hope that your uh, day gets better. Okay, they've got shields now. Oh yeah, I forgot that these crawlers exist. I might put some more arc lights down there. So waiting for the vet to finish? Thanks. Yeah. Hopefully all is well. Waiting for the second unit of Spangs to spawn in. Oh, maybe not. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Speed up here. Alright, I think we actually lose. Yeah, we lose. Alright, well, GG's. Alright, so against mass. Against mass scorpions. Yeah, there's a lot of scorpions. I'm trying to think. Against mass scorpions. Um, I don't want to go storms because I feel I honestly, in my opinion, I feel like storms are worse than scorpions. I don't want to go mass scorpions. So I think I have to go for something in the air. You just have fangs against sparks. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. And maybe some uh, maybe some front line chaff as well. To distract. Because if I rely on, like, I was getting, I was almost at, um, I was almost at 900 FMR when I was going, um, field medic, heavy armor, double shot, range, scorps, and I was just spamming them out. But I don't want to just rely on that for every match, especially because you can counter it. And, um, I want to try to figure out how to do a more balanced strategy. Let's go. I don't want to go cross control. Um, let's go marksman, I guess. I'll put my crawlers on the sides. In the middle. Let's keep going for the, uh, the thing I've been doing so far. One, two, three. Boom. All right. Then we'll get, um, some things now. It's probably, it's probably super worth it to just get shielded things in general. Because they're like the front line of my... The whole basis of my strategy here. Along with the sludges. And it probably wouldn't be bad either to have crawlers consistently. While doing this so that there's more stuff to shoot at as well. Good luck, have fun. All right, nice turn one one. Let's take skip. I'm going to grab two arcs. Just grab another marksman as well. There we go.
Okay, he's going heavy. He's going heavy on heavy units. So now I'll probably take the Scorpion next turn. I think I'm gonna save my scorpion juice for right here. Something I tested out too. Um, someone told me that someone told me that um, scorpions, their um, their artillery shot can be shot down by anti missile, but I tested it. And the, um, it doesn't get shot down by anti-missile, by either Mustangs or War Factory when it's on. So that's cool, which just reinforces to me even more why I like them over the storms. Uh, I don't, I don't think it would work against the, the turret either, the anti-missile turret. <laughs> just cause I'm pretty sure they work on the same technology. Let's see. Let's take two of them. He's sick in a while. Okay, he got more heavy units. That's good. For us. Oh, he took the money too. And a missile. That's gonna suck. Ouch. Alright, Scorpions, do your thing. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this. I like it way more with the crawlers coming in on the sides in the middle. It really helps. I think I'll probably implement that now. Speed up. Yeah, okay, let's take a skip. And upgrade our guys. Um, I would like to continue doing shielding here. I don't think it's worth it to go hacker shields, even though they're cheaper. It's 20,000 HP. This is 40,000. Because the fortress is so much more flexible. And it's got way more HP. Let's go fortress. Let's uh unlock it but not use it yet. And then I'll take two more tanks. I'm assuming here at some point he's going to go with some artillery. Okay, he's got overlords now. Just one. Maybe my marksman can take him out. We'll see, I guess.
Get a marksman. He's right there. He's right in front of you. Oh my god. Marksman. Marksman, you fucking idiot. He's literally... Oh my god. Alright. Alright. We'll take anti-air. Mix in. Upgrade. Upgrade. Anti air. Let's get three of them. Because I have a feeling he's going to get more. Next turn, I'm going to get. Uh... Next turn, I'm going to take melting points. Especially if he goes more air, I'll get melting points. And then we'll take some shielding as well. Upgrade my arch too. There we go. Okay, he's got another overlord. He's taking the money again. Now we've got anti-air, so we should lock on. There we go. Not on the bottom, but that's okay. It's level two. All right, kill the level one, please. There we go. There we go. Speed up. Yeah. Upgrade. Upgrade. Thank you. Um. I think I am going to take Melting Point now. Just to dissuade him from uh, continuing to try to fuck us up here. We'll take range on it. And then... We'll get shielding again. Alright, cool. I think we went here again. I'm definitely gonna need to take uh, Crawler Production. On the melting point, so that he's protected by chaff. But, I think we take out the overlords pretty easily now. He did get range on the overlords, so they're gonna be alive for longer, but that's okay. We got this, we got this. Come on. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Oh my goodness. I think we still got him though. Yeah, we got him. Alright. Now we'll take crawler production. Skip. Okay. And then... We'll get two more. They're gonna grow... Like that, actually. I feel safe putting them in here. I don't know why, but I do. We'll take some shields. Mm -hmm. 
I'll get the money this soon. Get a shift for these guys as well. And then upgrade my mice. Alright, all these crawlers are gonna be great for us. We're producing 30 every 30 seconds until they die. We took Photon on that. I feel like Photon was a worse choice than Mothership here, since I don't have much anti-air at the moment. Let me speed up. Hey, look at me winning against Overlords. Let's go. I like that. All right, cool. Let's go again. <laughs> oh, it's the same guy that from a couple matches ago. Okay. They get a drink really fast there. Um, what do we got? I don't want cost control. Quick supply is fine. Uh, especially because we get things and sludges. All right. Let's set it up again. I mean, I'm liking it so far. I think its biggest weakness is probably that it's front loaded. Um, I'm front loading it a lot, but other than that, I don't, I don't hate it, you know? Let me make sure I'm not. I just dropped two Vulcans with Incendiary and Sticky Bomb on his Mustang Heavy Comp in round seven. Oh, nice. Yeah, the surprise Vulcan is always a nightmare. Good job, Mumbo. Proud of you. He's got fangs and phoenixes. Uh, I guess we'll go marksman here. I don't think I'm going to win this first round, but we'll see. I might as well just because we... Oh, wait, hold on. He's got supply specialist. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Good luck, have fun. Wow, he's uh he really wants me to talk back to him. The only the only reason I didn't was because I was getting my drink. So I forgot to do that. It's funny how it's the time it's like the one times when I don't say it. People okay, cause cause people almost never say it back to me. But the one time like the times that I don't say it, people are always like, uh, excuse me, good luck, have fun. And I'm like, alright. Yeah, isn't that- doesn't that suck? It's like, but I guarantee you, if I would have said it, he wouldn't have said anything back to me. That's- that's always how it goes. One tip on the vertical strat? Alright. Hit me with it, Mumbo. It's very strong. It's very strong the first couple rounds, at least. Like, I've only lost one turn one round. One round one. It, uh, and I don't think I've lost any round twos. I'm gonna place here two to four above where you have them currently, not even with the sludges. Well, okay. Um, do you think, okay, do you think I could keep it the same though if I took, um, if I took mech rage on the fangs though? Because they'd still go fast, they'd still go faster, right? Because that was why I put them there. So that they could, it's basically so that it's flexible. So I could take that if I needed to. Cause I know they're engaging at the same time, right? That's what you're that's what you're concerned about. They're engaging at the same time. So that they're uh the tanks are just as vulnerable. Yes, but you would eventually have to mech rage on sludges too, right? So you're in the same spot. Um 
I guess. So this increases by four. So they'd be at 11, and then these guys would be at 11. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's go. You and T-Space are like a big difference. Okay. We'll try it. We'll try it next, next time we do this. <laughs> what pull sludges back to spaces? You know what? I think that's probably what I want to do is pull the sludges back. Let's get, um, let's get an upgrade on one of these tanks. Yeah, no, 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 no. I wasn't going to do that, this one. Is this yet? Okay. We just got uh, storms now, that's fine. So you think by doing that, by doing that, the, um, the sludges will be able to stay alive longer. That's what you're, what you're telling me. The sludges will be able to do more DPS. Do you mix in like Phoenix's late, and late arrive chaff in the back as well? Or boats or what? They should theoretically. Um, so my strategy right now with this, this whole thing is because the whole reason I'm doing this is well early game because i normally suck early game right so this is just this composition right here is just so that i'm trying to protect myself from as many sources of damage as possible i'm not necessarily trying to win even though like it is winning early game um and it's also like a good catapult into like the mid game so i don't have to worry about getting specific units but late game i'm just trying to go anti-giant because i feel like everybody like, I feel like everybody just spams the shit out of giant units at the end of the game, which is fine. But I want to go, I want to be able to defend myself from it. So I think I'm going to be leaning into melting points, which I normally stay away from. You're very weak to support since times. Well, uh, yeah, I know. Um, but that's also why I do uh, the fortresses as well. The fortresses with the shields. I've been doing that like round four or five. Some moving units. Yeah, I know. Um, but um, I don't wanna. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take crawlers on the flanks. Do you run photon on your boats? I do run photon on my boats. Yes. I was thinking about, I was even thinking about doing like a boat with Photon and a race with DJ and Beam. I think that would be kind of cool. And then I'll take some shields as well this time. Oh, never mind. Took, uh, he took armor piercing. All right, I think I'm going to definitely lose this round. These sounds are going to shred. Yeah, probably. I think the fangs are gonna do. Are gonna fuck me at the most. I mean, honestly, we survived. Look, we got the tower. Not too bad. Speed out. All right, look, we still won. See? All right, but I will take um, Bristol of Crawler's midline with Deacon to distract storms for a bit. All right, we'll skip here. Let's upgrade these tanks again. Let's get range on the tanks. Range on the tanks effectively does the same thing as keeping them back a little bit, right? Since they, well, not really. Kind of. Sick range on them. Let's go crawler. And then, I think we'll take vertical crawlers, probably. Noble beacon. Yeah, 
Chow, wait, maybe put some back a little bit. Okay. And then... I'm gonna unlock fortresses without buying them yet. We're gonna get two shields. And we're gonna get one more crawler unit. Put them right there. Got mech rage on the things as well. All right, the shields really help. I think the right one might even stay up, which would be great. Speed up. Hey, look at this go. Okay. I've also just been like skipping everything. Upgrade. 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 Your prayer. It's round five. Um. Hi. Right. Normally I would take giant, I would take a um, fortress here or a couple, but because there's so many fangs, I think I might take two Vulcans just because there's like so many fucking fangs. Let's take two Vulcans. I think he's gonna go scorpion, so... I don't know, you got a boat. Okay. That's fine. We'll go melting point next turn then. And get range on Vulcans as well. All right, goodbye, things. And goodbye, boat. Wow, we're just demolishing him. He doesn't... He's not even, like, standing a chance here. Oh, and he loses. Okay, nice. GG's. Thank you, Misty. Thank you, Mumbo. Appreciate it, guys. Was that a revenge game? I don't know. Did he beat me before? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm three for... I'm I'm two and one right now for today. There's the same player from the game before. The game before that one I won as well. I think it was... I think he was the guy from two games ago. Because somebody beat me two games ago. I don't remember who it was, so... We'll take supply again. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking this strategy. It fits me very well, because I don't have to necessarily think too much about it. All right, let's go ahead and put those, let's do what Mumbo suggested. We'll put the sludges down in the same level as the, uh, the marksman down here that's two below. We'll get fangs. There'll be two above. Do like that. Let's see. Good luck. Have fun. It's just a nice, like, all rounder. Like, I got a little bit of everything, sort of start. And I can kind of mesh into whatever they go into. 
MMR? Uh, six something right now? I had EK exactly. That's what I try to do with all my boilerplate builds. Nice. The sync deployment here. And then we'll go. We'll get to arcs now. It's taken me such a long time to warm up to arcs. I've always hated them. Ever since, like, I started playing the game, I've always hated arcs. Ripper. Let's get, uh... Oh, wait, we can't get any crawlers just yet, unfortunately. I'm gonna take another arc unit. Zip them there. There we go. All right, good thing we got a couple more units because you got like three more crawlers. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll say, what about you? That's weird that he asked you my MMR. Mike, didn't you see it before the? Didn't you see it at the beginning of the match? I don't know. 800. Nice. Wow, he's about to feel like shit when he loses. Okay. I always say it randomly, like 800 something. Nice. Upgrade. No one knows exactly. Um. Let's get... I'm actually going to take my crawlers now. So I don't forget later. Because when they come in like that, in the middle of the match, the way that they were coming in last match, it's so nice. Okay. Um. Honestly, we're good. You know? Like, I don't really have too much stuff that I... That I need here. Just sick another marksman. Well, I stick with that for now. He got some storms. All right, he's doing the same thing the last guy did. And that's fine because we won, so. Doesn't really bother me. Crawlers come in. Nice. The other nice thing about this strategy is that there's so many units that even though he's spamming me. Uh, with crawlers, we have enough to take them out. Because it's because the composition is cheap enough to where I can also spam. I will take wasp swarm. Any kind of swarm units I'll always take. Won't do that down there. Alright, let's go ahead and get um And unlock. I do take Rhino Pollen. I take it um like within the first six rounds. If it's not if it's not like within the first six rounds, I'll probably just ignore it. We could go Vulcan with this guy too. I, honestly, my my cryo control is pretty good right now, so I'm not too worried about it. We'll unlock the fortress, but we won't take it just yet. 
I think I'll get two more sludges. Gotcha. What do you, um, Misty, what do you normally run? I've never asked you that. What do you normally run? On your compositions. Do tanks on the sides. Some Crowley's down here. You usually do Sledge Fangs, Overlords, Wasps. That's pretty good. You like air? Yeah. Air is, air is very, very good. If you're good at it. Air is... Um, air is very good. I like... If I go air, I have to be like... I have to be like superior in air. Like, I don't... I don't like going just a couple units in the air. Like, I have to own it. You know? Do you do... Um, do you run, uh, jump drives? Yeah, it's all or nothing. Especially when the other person goes hard into it. And it's like, excuse you, I was already trying to set up my air. That's normally where I die, is I, I go a couple units in the air and then they like, spam down four overlords or something. Let's get jump drive boats. Jump drive boats, they're so cool. Um, they're so cool. I like them a lot. How's your matches going, Mumbo? Look at all these individual units. He's got, okay, he's got a bunch of storms now. That's good, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. He's got a bunch of storms. Um, he does ha he does have fire. Let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get four juices of barrier now. I'll put them in line. Or actually, I put them one below the fangs. We'll just get two of them for now. We'll protect the middle side. And they're protecting one, two, three, four, five. There'll be six units when this marksman walks into it. That's pretty good. Let's get the crawler. And then... Oh, I didn't even notice this crawler was down a couple spots. That's weird. Um, We'll put him below the tower then. Mixes it up, though it does, yeah. Oh yeah, these barriers. I love Fortress Barrier. When I first saw Fortress Barrier in the game, I was like, I was like, oh, that's my giant unit right there. It sucks that Fortresses aren't very strong now, like they used to be, but I still think Fortress Barrier is worth it for the, uh, not really, it's not really a cost savings on barriers, but it's like a barrier with a gun. So, or a shield with a gun. So, you know. It helps, and it's also a meat shield on top of the, the barrier. We'll speed up. Do you ever do carry forts? It's fun to do. It pays off. Um, I've never no, I've never done carry forts. What is the what's the carry fort build? GGs. Well, if he was actually 800 MMR, then we should be getting a lot of MMR right now, right? No, yeah, we got 31. Nice. Hold on, let's look at them. Let's look at the forts. So I'm assuming that carry fortress is probably what? Shield elite four. Oh yeah, elite. I didn't notice that. And all four at the same time, but they need levels, right? So I'm assuming you buy them at level two then. You probably save up and buy them at level two. Overload. Range. Nice. That sounds fun. What an awful skin though. 
Like, go for big shit. To be honest, it is all or nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to, um, I wouldn't be able to run that just because I like having thing production. I like having thing production and I like having, uh, actually, hold on. Well, yeah, no, we'll keep the anti air on there. When the fort get to get cool skin like Melter, what's the Melter's skin look like? No, wait, that's not it. Oh, the flame. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is pretty sick. That is pretty sick. I'm not a fan of the boat skin, though. I like gilded on the tanks, but I mean, it just looks, it just, it just doesn't look that good to me. I think, I think gilded should always just be pure gold. Like, just, just like how it is on the tanks. I think if you're going to do gilded, it needs to be all gold. Or if you're not going to do all, if you're not, if you don't want gold on every unit, at least do like, at least do like iron or bronze or something, but make it shiny. Especially when they're like, they're like, the game is $15, right? Which is like totally fair and reasonable. It's an amazing game, but their skins are like three to $5 a piece. And then you, like, you try to, like, think about the value of that, and it's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make much sense to me. Okay, we got Mustangs. I know it's going to be free to play eventually, but still. All the people that are playing it right now have paid for it, so I don't feel like it should be $5. Maybe, like, a dollar, I could see. Let's do... Okay, yeah, let's get things. I do... I did get a, a bunch of credits, so... I'm producing the maximum amount of credits I think you can have every day. So I'm just gonna save up that. For a while. Um, let's go ahead and try vertical Mustangs here. Then we'll do this marksman on the right side. We'll say good luck, have fun. Okay, he went full in on the right. We will win the right side, but I don't think it's going to be fast enough. Oh, it might be fast enough, actually. And now, does this marksman? Now he doesn't come over here to help. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're gonna lose the round, that's fine. We'll speed up here. Okay, he's going really aggressive on the line. I think one missile should fuck him up pretty badly. And I've killed the sledges and the arc. So they're not leveled up yet. Or the one that's almost leveled up too. That's nice. And the arc that's almost leveled up. That's dirty. I like it. Okay, let's get, um... Wait, what? Oh, aerial spec. I was like, why are these zero to unlock? It's because I'm aerial spec. Okay. Let's get... Uh, we still win this side right now. I think we'll take an unlock and a buy on some sledges. Let's put them in the middle though. I 
That's it. Oh wait, we need to when you pull them down a little bit. And then we'll get one more fang unit. They'll go right there. The crawlers in the flank. That sucks. Come on, Mustangs. Re reroute, reroute, reroute. No. I knew I should have got an arc there. We still win the round, though. I think. Damn, they didn't reroute. It's gonna take a minute for the Finks to get this. Yeah, we still win. Speed up here. Now we'll get arcs for the sides. Just stop the crawlers coming in. I'll take the rhino. Assault. Arc. Arc. Rhino. Over here. I think he's probably going to ride out me too. Upgrade. Upgrade. And then... I guess I'll take... He's got a- he's got a shield now, right? I would think so. Let's put a missile here, just in case he doesn't. And then... What else do I want? Maybe another arc. Just for funsies, put in my hair. Or I take foes on, okay. Oh, he's got a missile interceptor, nice. He's probably gonna get me there with that. Sometimes they miss though. Yeah, okay, you got it. You got a Vulcan right there? What the fuck? Alright, well, we're getting a melting point then. We got you a sour though. With the Rhino. Hey, the Ark's actually holding up very well to the Vulcan. We get to kill his whole army now. Damn, that went really good. That was a really good round. Holy shit. Did we actually kill- Wow, we actually kill his Vulcan before he can get the tower. That was an awful- That was an awful flank from him. And the Rhino comes in for the kill almost. Jesus Christ. Wow, that was good. Alright, skip there. Upgrade here. His, um, his attack's kind of falling apart here a little bit on him. Get the melting point. Let's take a, uh... Wait, is this Fangs or is this Crawler? So it's Crawler, it's Fangs. Okay. So, we'll take out the Fangs with a missile, right? And then we'll get the melting point over here. I don't want to focus too much on the flank. But I do want to stop him from doing this. Let's take the money. Oh shit, it's only round four. Oh well. Let's get range. I'll probably put him on... Like right there. It should be fine. And then, we'll take a shield up here. Or, uh... This will work. It's an overlord, okay. Well, we're still kill both of these.
Nice. What is this? Nah, okay, okay. Wow. Wow. I can't believe I'm beating aggro right now. I mean, it's not good aggro, but I'm still beating it. That's good. My missile stays intact. That's nice. Speed up. Okay, we'll take a supply here. Need to upgrade. Get a missile. We'll take some money. We'll get shielded fangs. We'll take one more fang unit, put it right in front of the melting point. So they don't get screwed. Put it right in front of the Vulcans and die. Dumb fangs in front of a boat. It's too late now. Thanks, Raven. How you doing today? Haven't seen you in a couple of days. He got a he got a um fortress as well with barrier. Drip all over the couch. What'd you do? What happened? You sick? Alright, we still got the Overlord. We still got the Vulcan. We still got the Fortress. Man, this guy sucks. He is the worst. He is the worst at flanking. He hasn't gotten me one time. Not once. Sorry to hear that, Reven. Let's skip here. Oh, I should have got orbital. He's gonna orbital me, probably. Put a rhino in front of the Vulcan. And dome fangs in front of the boat. Why do I want a rhino in front of the Vulcan? Oh, because he's going to just lock onto him, I guess. I, I think he's going to die, though, because it's up to the fort. To be fair. Well, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. Um. And then. Hold on. Let's do this again. Vulcan suck at clang rhinos, both suck at clang fangs. I mean, we're doing fine, you know? We're not losing. Hold on, I, I wanna keep- I wanna keep trying to rock this out. I think... I think EMP would be good here against the fortress, because we'd take down the- We'd take down the shield. And then... Probably... We have an arc right there, so probably one more thing. Shielded Fang up against all these guys. We'll try that. I'm gonna take the money too. We'll shield and shield. He's doing that flank pretty badly. Yeah, he is, isn't he? All right, he did javelin me, which sucks. I think my I think my melting point might die now. But only because of the javelin. And worse comes to worse, we just take more melting points. Because he's just going... He's just going for giant units. I knew as soon as I saw that javelin, I knew he was going to do it on me. That's fine. Okay. I'm gonna skip. 
take the rhino. The rhino's gonna go up here again. Take out his guy. Shove some melters in there. Yeah, that was the plan. Let's uh let's upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. I think starting next turn, I will probably... Well, I just lost my train of thought there. I don't know what I was going to say. Never mind. I'm gonna hit this. Actually, I don't need to hit the boat. We're fine. They have 150 left. Let's take a defense upgrade. He's got photon. My rhino should clear this tower still, I think. Oh, this melting point walked away. That sucks. Oh, no, I didn't. It's good. All right, I need crawler production. Ouch. Until we did get a sour, it's not gonna matter. I don't think. We'll see. No, it's not gonna matter. Hey. I'm still pretty confident with this, though. He doesn't have warp joy. Oh, yeah, we already met that. Never mind. Um. I'll take enhancement here. Stock time. What does stock time mean? Are we thinking of Vulcan here? That's 600 though, that's a lot of money for that. Or, uh, we thinking... More Melters, maybe? I mean, I don't... Hold on. Does he level up yet? No, I didn't. Maybe crawler production. He's some sort of chaff clear. Okay. It's when you level up a, a unit for free, then sell it again to gain free mana. I'm gonna fight about this unit again, plus effects you're running. Okay. Logan does sound the safest. Okay. Going for giants or higher level. Dance for more money. Okay, let's do it on a giant then. Oh, never mind. Get range. Double shield. For an element morning games. Time to get some work done for the day. Have a good one, everyone. All right, Mumbo. Have a great night. Or have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. He got a Vulcan up there too. Alright. Honestly... Honestly, I'm like... Pretty upset that he was able to pull that off. I'm not even like impressed with him. He just kept like throwing shit at the wall. That was kind of... I... That just makes me upset, to be fair. Because I feel like I was playing a decent game there, and he was just spamming shit, but okay. Um... 
I really need to start saving those matches so that I can uh, review them. To cookie cutter flank, a lot of people do, but he did a few things wrong. Okay. I don't mind it if people flank me. Like, that's fine, but when you're putting all of your money into one flank and you're just like relying on the alpha damage of the first couple shots, I feel like that's kind of stupid. Sometimes spamming gets a job done if you can overwhelm them. Yeah, no, I, I get that. It's just like, I feel at that point it, be, it stops becoming strategy and it just starts becoming like cheesiness. Which is like fine. They're, you're doing a little bit of cheese, but I guess if it works, it works, you know? All right. Um, we're going to do an intermission here. Uh, everybody on Twitch, uh, stay with me for a second here. Um, but everybody on YouTube, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.